Yep. So, so okay. we, we've got Tom Hayes coming on. Tom is a uh, senior manager in EMC's Ionics Group. Tom, good Dave, to see nice you. Meet you. Nice, nice to meet you. you. Nice to meet you. How are you doing? Nice to see you. Good. So, nice to see you guys. Uh, EMC World 2011, Las Vegas. Great, great event. How are you doing? How are you feeling? Oh, Day it's three? going great. I'll tell you, we're having a, it's a wonderful event. Uh, customers are great. We've met some of the analysts here. And, it's unifying, uh, isn't it? It's, uh, it's <laughs> going very, very well. Our booth is full, and uh, so it's exciting. Yeah, good traffic was, at the booth. Uh, good traffic at the booth and uh, great conversations. Uh, a lot of exciting things happening. We're rolling out some new products, which we'll, I'm sure, we'll get a chance to talk about. So, uh, good things are going on. Yeah, I kind of want to um, to reset for people. So, Ionics. Not a lot of people know what Ionics is. Uh, there were portions of the Ionics asset base that were moved in or "quote unquote" sold in, kind of an internal transfer right. to VMworld at one point in time. So, so um, you know, we've been John systems management, right? You've been following system management for years, and, yeah, yeah. And and this whole cloud and virtualization thing makes system management, in my opinion, a do-over. You know, so <laughs> we're talking about systems management. It's it's a very important area. Uh, so, talk about what Ionics is and and the pieces sure. that you have maintained inside of EMC, and then we'll talk specifically about what you're announcing here at the event. Sure, and uh, Ionics is infrastructure management, IT infrastructure management. We're focused on the infrastructure, so compute, network, and storage is really where we spend our time. We still work very closely with VMware. So even though we move some products to VMware uh, for the application, the VM, the virtualization management, all of that comes together. And in fact, if you look in the Ionics booth, you'll see the Ionics infrastructure management combined with VMware management right up through the application, putting together an end-to-end -end answer, both on the provisioning side as well as on the operation side. So even though some of those products moved into VMware, still a sister company, still important of how we put that together. So the Ionics piece focused on infrastructure, VMware focused on the application and the virtualization layer that sits on top of that. Okay, so the stuff they're doing with Spring and the platforms, it made just sense to, to put that over there and that's just a, exactly. a matter of integrating and, and working together. Okay, so, so your piece of infrastructure management, you talked about server storage networking, obviously that leads us to vBlock, so, so <laughs> right. you know, Ionix, the UIM piece is central to the whole vBlock right. you know, architecture, right? vBlock, we've had a lot of discussion around vBlock and this notion of a single logical block of infrastructure going in, cloud ready, cloud optimized, some good buzzwords, we want to understand what that means. What does it mean to have this cloud optimized uh, block of infrastructure and what does that mean from a management perspective? Oh, great question. And if you think about the vBlock, the vBlock made by VCE, uh, virtual computing uh, environment, which We is, sometimes uh, call it Vice, Vice. You know, VMware, <laughs> Intel, Cisco, yeah, that's right. EMC. So, right. People think of it, VMware, <laughs> Cisco, and EMC. Uh, but the three companies have put together a company uh, uh, called VCE, VCE Company, that builds infrastructure in a box, data centers in a box, uh, compute network and storage uh, that is uh, purpose-built for a cloud virtualized environment. Uh, the key component of that is the management component, so unified infrastructure management, which is made by EMC, uh, the Ionix uh, group within EMC. Uh, what that means for customers today is that, as opposed to buying compute, network, storage, all separately, having it put together and build it out to be able to deliver services to the business and their internal or external customers, with converged infrastructure, they can move much more quickly because they get a, basically a data center shipped in a chassis, the V-Block, all pre-configured, all balanced for, for, for a performance, delivering a certain number of virtual machines, whether 6,000, 3,000, 1,000, depending upon the customer requirement. So it's, it's a much more efficient, effective way to build out infrastructure to support virtualized applications leading to cloud computing. Yeah, so it's... Um, what is, what is, so we have, Dave, we got 3,000 people out there who might not know what all that meant. So, so <laughs> let's take a step back. Some of them do. What is unified vBlock for the cloud mean? So, I mean, that's one of the things that you guys are touting is this unified vBlock for the cloud. Right. Take, what, it, what is that? Yeah, why so, do I need to so unify what all is that? Yeah, right, and yeah. What's the benefit? So, so when you put compute network and storage together, in a single chassis, you've just made it simpler and easier for customers to be able to deliver the infrastructure to support business applications. What's critical in putting that together is the management component of that. So we put together unified infrastructure management on top of that. What that allows us to do is provision compute network storage right up through the ESXi cluster with a single click. 
So as opposed to you've got a commute administrator, a network administrator, a storage administrator, the person that configures the ESXi cluster or the server, as opposed to having all of those individuals with a lot of handoffs, a lot of telephone calls going on to provision that, we do it with a single clip, click with a management component that's purpose built to do that. The objective, of course, is to deliver services much faster to support the business applications so we can turn it around in minutes or hours as opposed to weeks or months to stand up that infrastructure. So that's really what it means in supporting business, to supporting the business. So it sounds like a better mousetrap, I mean, yeah. in, in, in essence. And um, now, we always hear about stovepipes, so we're breaking down stovepipes here. Um, what are you seeing uh, uh, in terms of you mentioned you know, storage admin, network admin, server admin. What are you seeing in terms of the organizational changes that are taking place as a result of, of, of things like vBlock going in? Are, are organizations struggling with that? Are they eager for that? I mean, nobody likes change. Well, what is it, from an organizational standpoint, what does that all mean to you know, the, uh, the, the IT practitioners out there? No, that's a great question. And as you think about it, it's the number one question. When I talk with customers and I'm talking to several a week, they talk about what do I do with my network storage and compute administrators. First of all, those professionals still need to exist in the organization to set up those policies when we deliver the services to the business. So the infrastructure service is set up based on a policy that UIM then goes ahead and implements. So you still need the experts. But once those experts set up those policies, we then use a machine, a provisioning and automation machine, Unified Infrastructure Manager, to eliminate all of the manual, repetitive, error-prone tasks that these IT administrators used to have to do. We pick a single administrator, ideally someone that has some experience across those technologies to be able to provision that infrastructure, compute, network, and storage using a single click with UIM. So it frees up the IT staff to focus on more strategic initiatives, get to things that they haven't been able to get to in the past. Uh, it is a change in organization, but it's a good change, and most customers that I talk to are embracing that because the IT staff is looking at getting uh, involved in more strategic, interesting stuff. The right. management software, Dave, I totally agree, is the key to this, because if you look at cloud and big data, the number one issue is automation and configuration management. So those are white spaces that are underdeveloped, and I think you, know, you guys are highlighting some real automation simplification in the network management or cloud management, that's network management, so used to saying network management. Yeah. Um, but the, the management software is the key. If you look at Hadoop, you look at big data, you look at what Greenplum's doing, you look at what these guys are doing, whoever nails the management software piece wins it. Yeah, so um, I talked about Better Mousetrap before. So to me, Tom, if it's a blank sheet of paper, this is like a no-brainer. But now, of course, as you know, we've got yeah. legacy infrastructures. There's a lot of stovepipes out there. So how are people, how are you helping people or how are your customers getting from point A, which is all these stovepipes, all these different roles, to point B, which is kind of this you know, nirvana single block of infrastructure? Right, great question. And most customers that I talk to today are taking the V-Block, the V-Block platform, and deploying it for the next critical application, be it VDI, for example. They may put Exchange on it, SAP on it. So they may move the next application that they'd like to deploy, and they'll use the V-Block for it. The existing infrastructure will continue to exist, of course, and it will be depreciated over time. And over time, five, six, seven years from now, most of their infrastructure will be based on a V-Block platform. So it will be a transition, usually the first V-Blocks going in to support the next crit critical business application. What that means in terms of management is managing the V-Block in a new way. It's converged infrastructure. Let's manage it in a converged way in the way we provision it and operationally manage it. One of the announcements we made at the show is Unified Infrastructure Manager operations to operationally manage the V-Block differently in its entirety, not in stovepipes, and leveraging provisioned information so we know exactly what's going on in that V-Block. So if there is a problem, we know where the symptoms are and where the root cause is. So manage the V-Block differently, then leverage that information in a broader IT management solution. We do it with Ionix IT Operations Intelligence, that information would also feed into other enterprise management platforms that are out there that uh, many of the other companies are offering. So it goes in there in an elegant way. But so there's a lot of a lot of homogeneity in your solution, right? I mean, that's a that's that, that's an advantage. It allows you to simplify things, and and many people have have pointed to the fact that a lot of the 
the cloud providers have a great deal of homogeneity, and that's one of the reasons why they've got such simplified yeah. and cost-effective infrastructure. You know, at the, I, I like to, not to use a political analogy too far, but, but I like to think of Republicans and Democrats. You know, both smart you know, constituencies, different philosophies. Your philosophy is homogeneity, keep it simple, single logical block of infrastructure. So if a, if a customer says, well, I want to use you know, a different management system, you say, okay, well, go ahead and use it, but you can't get V-Block, you can't get our package, correct? No, if the customer has a V-Block, uh, uh, rather a different management system. So, for example, they may have BMC, just to bring up a name. Yeah, so, uh, or they may uh, have CA. Example. You, BMC, CA, HP, whatever. Exactly, right. HP, IBM, and yeah, so forth. Right. Uh, more of the common management platforms you may see out there. Uh, VCE is doing a terrific job of building partnerships. In fact, earlier this week, I think it was earlier this week or CA. late last week, there was a CA announcement yeah. uh, talking about the CA management capability uh, for a V-Block platform. And of course, they leverage Unified Infrastructure Manager because the Unified Infrastructure Manager of the V-Block platform manages the V-Block and then provides that information northward, the alerts, the topology information, to be able to provide that to a CA management system. Which then becomes or the manager BMC. of the manager. It's exactly, okay. right. So the, the VBlock UIM information is intended to feed a broader IT management solution, and it could be any one of those platforms is a very nice API to be able to do that. Okay, so the, the diversity could be connecting to other parts of other ecosystems, other products, but the hardware itself certainly is a fixed block. Is that the, right? The hardware, and, and, that's the, and that is a significant advantage. The VBlock platform is a fixed set of infrastructure, compute, network, and storage, built to provide a certain level of performance. The fact that it's standardized, and we know exactly what it is, allows Unified Infrastructure Manager to provision it there's no custom scripts. It knows exactly what's in there. It can make sure, make sure it's good, fully compliant. So that standardization of that V-Block using best of breed technology, Cisco, VMware, and EMC, uh, is a key advantage that allows us to do what we do on the management side. So you talked about the, the booth traffic being pretty substantial, right? <laughs> uh, what are you guys showing over there? And uh you know, get, get a little bit more specific around that. Yeah, great question because I've been talking about Unified Infrastructure Manager provisioning to provision the V-Block. If you think about it, what ends up happening is that provisions the infrastructure, compute, network, storage, right up through the ESXi cluster. Then we have an integration into vCenter. So that, that configured ESXi cluster, those resources, are then synchronized with vCenter so the vCenter administrator can now provision VMs. Further, we leverage vCloud Director, uh, v, vCenter uh, uh, Request Manager, uh, v, v, uh, vCloud uh, Chargeback, uh, VMOS Service Manager. So there's a number of components that we put together to provide the broader uh, provisioning, and operations management solution around the V-Block. So what we're showing in the booth is a lot of those broader stacks of management capability that uh, enhance what you can do with the V-Block. So where do you see all this going, Tom? If you had to look out you know, three to five years, where do you see this whole logical block of infrastructure, UIM, where's it going? Long term, uh, you know, it's interesting if you look at IBM, HP, EMC, Cisco, VMware, VCE, Oracle. It's hard to pick a company that isn't driving uh, customers towards converged infrastructure, <clears throat> excuse me, which is a better answer over time for customers, for service providers to provide services. Much more efficient, uh, much, much, more, much faster in delivering services. So over time, I would fully expect that the world or data centers, the next generation data centers, will be based on converged infrastructure, VCE because of best of breed, the management capability. Some of the things that VCE has done already, I would say gives them a leg up. Of course, I would be you're, saying you're that. You're a little yeah. biased. Uh, <laughs> a little biased, but, <laughs> but uh, well, uh, you great know answer actually, with the V-Block. Actually, but we, that's where it's going to be. We have said uh, on this program and others that we, we see it right now as a two-horse race in our view. It's it's, 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 it's VCE and HP really going after it hard with this logical block. And IBM and Oracle, you mentioned the others. You know, they're playing, yeah. but not nearly as aggressively. And uh, so it's going to be really interesting to watch. I think it's a big market. I mean, it's potentially billions, maybe even tens of billions. So there's definitely room for two. And uh, yeah. we wish you luck, Tom. Great, great having you here. I love the energy, the passion. Great on camera. We're having a great time. Thanks for coming <laughs> on theCUBE. Dave, thanks nice. very much. Pleasure. John, Tom. thank you. Okay.